What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create a Word document and then creating a table inside of that Word document. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, so on the left I've got my VBA editor, on the right I've got um, country with their respective regions and populations here. And what I want to do is create a Word document and then um, insert a table based on the information in, in this sheet. So we're going to call this sub add table to word. And we're going to declare our variables. We've got object word, object doc, Um, let's do object selection. Then we've got I as an integer and J as an integer. So let's set object word equal to create object. And we want the word application. And then we're going to set object doc equal to object word and we're going to add a document and then object selection is going to be equal to object word dot selection okay so first we're going to open the word document so we're going to make it visible and then we're going to activate it so that it appears in the front here and then we're going to set let's call our table um, country table and we're going to set that equal to object doc tables and we're going to add a table and we want to use our object selection you're using this here object selection and our range so for a table there's two numbers you hit input here um, the first number is going to be the number of rows so we have six rows and then the number of columns is the second number so we have three columns so six three okay so now with country table and we'll end our with we're going to first include borders on our table So what we need to do is just enable them. So we're going to enable the borders. And then, you know what, let's do it without the borders first just so we can see what it looks like. So we'll comment that out and then continue. So we're going to do a for loop. And we're going to start with I. So from I equals one to six, we want next I. And then inside of this loop, for loop, we're gonna do another for loop with J. So for J equals one to three, so six and three, the uh, number of rows and number of columns. Next J. We're gonna do dot cell I comma J range insert after and then we're gonna do this workbook so this workbook here sheets 
and the sheet's called sheet one. And then we're gonna do sales, I, J again. So whatever I is here is what is what's I is gonna be on the Word document, same with J. So we're just gonna match the uh, cells exactly, and we want the text. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. All right, so you see we got our table in our Word document, but uh, there aren't any borders, no uh, additional formatting. So we can go ahead and do a couple of things here. So let's take these comments off. And then, so we en enabled our borders and we're gonna do an outside color RGB and let's just do black so zero 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 and then an inside color will be the same uh, zero 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 and then let's also make the the first row like the header row a different color like the background so we'll do rows one that's the first row we're gonna do shading background pattern color is gonna be equal to RGB and let's pick a color here so go here more colors um, let's go with like a green color How about this one that's gonna be 51 204 51 okay 51, 204, 51. Cool. So that's that. Let's go ahead and run it. So yeah, now we've got our black borders. We've got our green um, first row. And um, just real quick, just so we can see what the difference between outside color and inside color are. So let's make the inside color that green. And let's make the outside color, um, let's make it a, like a red color. Two fifty five. Okay. So if I run this again, cool. So you see the outside color is that red, and then the inside color is that green for the borders. So if we were to actually, if we wanted to add a column or uh, add a row, we could just change these numbers here to include whatever we want. We just have to update these numbers as well. see we've got that going all right so yeah that's all i got for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one